Watching the Chateauria Pairs Diary section, I felt like I'm in the midst of a married couple on a verge of divorce. And Big Brother is the marriage therapist trying everything possible to make sure that these people stay together. But they are not the topic of today. I just want to put that out there. Today, I'm here to talk about the Radicals Diary section. Because guys, it was super hilarious that even Big Brother was on a verge of busting out laughing. Okay? I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shux and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, watch this video to the end. Drop us a like, subscribe and share your thoughts down below in the comment section. Because here we talk about Big Brother, we talk about trending topics and I share my opinion. So in today's video, we'll be diving headfirst into the direct section of one of the pairs, which are the radicals. Because guys, Big Brother has been calling this housemate at an early hour, so I'm talking to you now, I think it's almost 12 o'clock South African time at night. So this video, I'm doing it at this moment, so I can't forget everything that the radical said, but it will be dropping so early in the morning, maybe 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock South African time. But uh, I just say, let me make this video, because guys, I've been laughing myself. Uh, see, when I was watching the radicals inside the diary room, all I can see is, a guy, you know, when a kid picks up a sweet, you know that uh, analogy that people always use. They say, "Oh, this guy is so happy as if he's a kid that found a candy shop." That was how the radicals were feeling inside the diary room. Like they couldn't even believe that they were talking to Big Brother one on one, especially Femi David. Yo, Femi David couldn't even hide the joy he was feeling. My guy couldn't even put up two sentences without smiling, without like the way he was talking you could feel that this guy has tried and according to him he has auditioned for nine consecutive times before he was finally chosen to be a housemate and then to see how happy he was talking to big brother the guy was so cheerful that most of the most viewers can relate to him like the 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 the, the way the thing he displayed inside that diary session if he's acting, I have to say, the guy has bought the souls of Nigerians. Because the way he was displaying that act, he made it so relatable that everybody watching that diary session will feel like, oh, this guy has suffered for co coming for consecutive auditions nine years in a row and then getting picked at the ninth time. Yo, this is the pure story of never give up on your dream. And he called Big Brother the greatest stage for his career to boost. And guys, you can never deny that. Check in the history of Big Brother, especially Big Brother Niger, check the history of the people that came before they came and then after. See how Big Brother transpired, tra transformed their life. So for Femi David to say what he said, that Big Brother is the greatest stage for his career. I believe him in that. And the guy was so joyful. Even me making this video, I don't even know what to say anymore. Because Femi David have ingested me with the joy that he was facing today while talking to Big Brother. And guys, I've wasted two minutes, three minutes talking about Femi David's joy without even talking about their diary session. So when they came in for uh, when they came into their diary session, the big brother asked the question, how are you feeling? Yo, Femi David couldn't even go there. He was happy. He was, he was, he, all he was saying, the big brother, I'm very, very fine. Big, I'm very, very fine. Big, I'm very, so the brother was like, Femi, what happened? Why are you very fine? And he was like, yo, big brother, you can't understand. I've been auditioning for nine years, nine consecutive years. And then I was chosen at the ninth time. I was chosen at big brother. Imagine if I gave up at the eighth time and big brother was like, yes, you are the real, the, uh, you are the real meaning of never giving up. Mikey was also asked how he is. And he said he is fine, just that he is weak. So big brother asked him, why are you weak? And he said he used most of his energy when they were coming in on sunday and since then his bones has been hurting and he hasn't had a good rest so that's why he's weak big brother uh, suggested to him that after the diet room that he should take a that he should take some time and have a little bit of a rest so the next question big brother asked them was out of all the housemates in the house who have you who made an impression on you what was that impression they made and is it good or is it bad and guys sure they went on a gush 
journey like they were gushing telling big brother how they love all the housemates how all the housemates has impacted their life how all the housemates have uh, infected you guys they really gushed and gushed and gushed about or in fact they mentioned almost all the housemates in the house and how they uh, they impress them the most but uh, these are a few of the highlights of the names that they mentioned so the first person they called is zinwe they said zinwe the energy zinwe showed them that zinwe was the first housemate they met inside the house and guys remember on sunday while they were coming in they came in immediately after the zinwe pair so zinwe first radical second so they said immediately they met the kind of match them being from the same uh, Edo state, it kind of solidified. Yeah, okay, this is the person that I'm going to be vibing with. And what they like about the pair is because they don't even send anybody. They've been calling themselves baby, 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 baby. Everywhere they go, they've been calling themselves baby. And a lot of people have been complaining about it that yes, they are the ones in relationship, but they should give other single people time to breathe. But they don't even care. They've been pestering everybody in the house and they like them for that. So the next person they called out that they like is Tofa. They said they enjoy Tofa's energy, that Tofa has a vibrant energy that matches theirs. The next person they uh, said made an, made an impression on them was the Shinne of the Ndini pair, which is the auntie. And they said that yes, they like her, that she's so sweet. But the, the problem they are having with her is she can't take a joke. So Big Brother make reference that, okay, maybe it's because she's an aunt. And, she's, and they were like, yes, Big, Big Brother, I think it's because of the maturity. I think it's because of the age. They didn't say age, but I'm not putting it. I think it's because of the age. And uh, her being so mature that she can't know when we are joking and when we are being serious. That she takes everything serious. But they like her because she's sweet and lovely. And they pointed out that as as of now that everybody is living in a kumbaya moment, that everybody is singing kumbaya, but inside the house that he can sense bad blood going around in the house, that by next week everything will switch up. That all these housemates singing kumbaya, being all friendly, being all lovely, that from next week. If they don't go home, that everything will switch up and he is ready to see that happen. So for Mickey, Mickey said that the people that made an impression on him was the Mbadiwe twins. That the Mbadiwe twins are such a good leader. And guys, watching the direct sections of this housemate and how they comment and how they speak highly of the Mbadiwe twins, I kind of understand, okay, these people, they, they are one of the best, they, they manage one of the best nightlife in Lagos and in Abuja. And they've met with people, they've met with men. I'm talking about men. men. If you go through their Instagram pictures and see the type of pictures and see the type of people they've been taking pictures with, I feel like they went through understanding people, they've been through, they've been with people that they understand what people need and how to tend to people's needs. At the end of the day, it's their job to serve people pleasure, to give life to people, to give people a lifestyle that they can have. So for them to, for all the housemates to be gushing about them, I have to say shout out to them and a, a big congratulations to them for being a perfect, perfect housemate that all these housemates are talking good about them. None of these housemates have said anything bad about the Mbadiwe twins except for Shinne. And we already know what happened. If you want to get to know that, watch my previous videos. So the next person that Mikey said made an impression on him was Toyo Sin and also he made a little reference to the Damilola issue at the kitchen shop, but said that she appreciates Damilola for calling everybody out and apologizing to everybody. That that shows maturity on her side. And I talked about that on the previous video that I made, so go check that one out. They also talked about Onyeka and Chizoba of the Shakas, the Shaka sisters. And guys, one thing that you should note about Onyeka and Chizoba is all the housemates, almost everybody. Almost everybody that came into the dive section said the same thing about Onyeka. That Onyeka has high energy, that Onyeka matches their energy, that everybody is vibing with Onyeka, that everybody is bonding with Onyeka. And I'm like, does these people know that Onyeka is playing a game? I think they are not aware that they have the power to send people home. Because if they truly know that on Sunday they have the power to send the last four housemates with the least vote, I think they will be taking Onyeka's strategy a little more serious than they are. They're just seeing it as, oh, this is who she is. She's vibing with everybody. 
but Onyeka is just playing the game, inserting herself in the thoughts of all the housemates, so that whenever these housemates are like making a decision that will harm her, they will remember, oh, this girl is a vibe, this girl is a vibe, and then take her back. And with that kind of personality, I want to see how far Onyeka is going to go in this game. Guys, do you think that the kind of game Onyeka is playing is going to take her far in the game? Or do you think that the housemaid is going to notice her game plan and send her home right away? Let me know what your thoughts are down below as we continue with this list. Femi also shining that Onyeka is too dramatic and that he loves Onyeka, that Onyeka matches his energy 100%. And also, that Onyeka has something that he likes. And then we already know what that is. Because if you remember the, the, the truth or dare game that they played, where my guy was asked to select a housemate and show his favorite sex position, we already know. Go check out the video and uh, laugh yourself out. Because that video was hilarious. And also, the truth or dare game was if you watched it. <laughs> <laughs> so Big Brother went on to ask them, okay, during the head of house ballot, who did you guys vote and why? And they started a game gushing about Keriri and why they voted Keriri. And guys, I now understand why these two guys are friends. Why? They, because the amount of energy that they possess, the amount of energy that they exude, yo, if you are not matching it, you can't be friends with them because they will always be stealing your shine. You always feel like they are stealing the light. But no, it's just their personality is who they are. They are so expressive. They like to tell you how they feel at that certain moment. And watching the, like, the diary section live, I'm like, no, these guys with this personality, with this way that they are playing this game, I see them going far, if not winning the game. But it's still early to judge. This is still the earlier days of judging or uh, to judge this housemate and see who will go far or who will not. We are still seeing them showing us their best life yet. We'll still wait for maybe the eighth week, the fourth week or the fifth week. By then, all their marks will be out and we'll see the real people. So let me keep my judgment till maybe week four. But guys, you are free to share with me. Who amongst these housemates have made an impression on you? And who amongst them do you feel like will make it till the end, the 71 day, and be the winner of this show? Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.